This video has a complicated title about fractions and decimals, uh, one on top of another. But these things exist. Here I wrote 4 9 to the power of 3 quarter. This kind of thing exists. Uh, 3 quarter to the power of 2.8, or sometimes decimals have fractional exponents, 51 0.7 to the power of 3 eighths. Sometimes fractions have decimal exponents. 5 sixteenth to the power of square root 2. Or and and sometimes there's interesting combinations. Uh, how about uh, pi to the power of square root 4? Stuff like that. Okay, so these things exist. I'll show you where and in, in a sec. I'm just gonna show you what. Uh, you can do with these numbers. These work on a calculator, so you can use your ABC button, that's for fractions, and you, you can use your XY button for the exponent part. You can just enter these straight on. So, 4 ninth is 4 ABC 9 XY button to the power of 3 ABC 4 equals there, 0 0.5 something something something. So you can let's 4 ninth to the power of 3 quarter. So you can get a normal number or a number in standard format instead of that. And it works with decimals of course the same way. 3.4 to the power of 2.8 equals that number. 30.77. So where these occur is for example in science and technology okay for example how about I'm just gonna mention one example wind chill factor okay not only an interest in uh, motorcycling but also outdoors uh, activities anything you do outdoors wind chill has to be considered and uh, but you get the same uh, chill factor from a different equation uh, for uh, exposure in in water, uh, like say survival, you know how long a sur how long uh, a shipwreck victim might last, or a survivor might last in a so and so temperature ocean. Okay, so okay, here is formula: the temperature indexed for wind chill. And this is the new formula that's been used since 2001. They started wind chill indexing temperature in the 1970s and this is the equation that's going to be that is used by uh, Canada, US and the UK Australia is using a different one so this is how it goes 13.12 plus 0 0.6215 times the temperature in and that's measured in Celsius because this is this is a metric equation but there is another one that works with Fahrenheit take away 11.37 multiply it by the wind speed that's measured uh, at the height of 10 meters and it's in kilometer per hour wind speed and this wind speed is to the power of 0 0.16 don't ask me why so but here is your decimal number that's a multiplication there 11.37 times the wind speed now that wind speed in kilometer per hours might be how about 8.2 kilometer per hour so now you have 8.2 to the power of 0 0.16 so you see uh, this is how it goes but the end of the equation is plus 0 0.39 Six five times temp times temperature times wind speed again to the power of zero point sixteen again. Okay, yeah. Don't ask me how they came up with this equation. It's a wonderful equation, and uh, I just wanted to point out that fractional and decimal sorry fractions and decimals do have fractional and exponent and uh, fractional and decimal exponents. So these things exist. It's unlikely that you would need ever to add, subtract, multiply or divide these numbers but uh, the same exponent rules apply. If stuff is in the same base then and you're multiplying you can add the exponents and if you're, if you're dividing you can subtract the exponents. Uh, everything else 
doesn't work so uh, if you have to add or subtract you're gonna have to evaluate each f number in exponential format into standard format so that's all I have to say about that